right, <clears throat> here's we're working on a a uh, tool post grinder. I found this five inch bench grinder at uh, Arbor Freight. It's like uh, I think on, on sale is 30, 35 bucks, something like that. Okay, so we take the, uh, get the camera on that, get the uh, bottom out, and I, uh, I put, screwed in a couple of, of um, these, this thing was on here like this with the, uh, with the button, and so this was the normal construction of it like this you push it on and it would turn this direction so I want the other direction number one number two I want to get rid of this plastic base so I did was took the screws out replaced them with a couple of, of uh, sharpened quarter 20s bolts um, <clears throat> this will turn around now this direction but I'm going to do away with this. Um, I'm going to put a couple of plates. I'm welding together uh, plates now for this. Um, let me get a, Okay, I, uh, I cut this on the mill, piece of steel, gouged it out so that I'd have a space in here for for the uh, bolts to go through, or the wires to come out, uh, and the bolts to go through. And uh, now I'm welding on a an upright. Uh, then I'm going to put a bar in here. So. As we go ahead, you'll see how this is going to work out. But anyway, this is this plate is going to uh, these two slots are going to go where these two pins are now, and uh, we'll weld this together and go from there. Um, better shot here. Uh, We've got this squared up on this piece of aluminum here, and uh, so that I'll have everything will be square off of this edge right here. <laughs> You'll see how that's important when I put the bar on here. So, okay, okay, this is how the plate ended up. It's going to go on here like this. If we can get this on here. Still a little warm from grinding. And... <clears throat> All right, that's going to sit like that. I'm going to uh, put a plate, attach a plate up here for this. Turn it on and off. Run these wires up from down below, like so. And, uh, and the rotation will be down. Um, this will go on uh, the tool holder, the Loris type tool holder. So it'll be able to move like this and adjust up and down to get the center pole. Now also about the center pole, <clears throat> this is just a Harbor Freight wheel. We're going to put suitable wheels on here. Um, smaller diameter probably four inch three inch but the key to this one is and also I'm going to machine a uh, an extension that will screw on here and have an it'll be an extension arbor and we can put a grinding wheel on it and then I can use it to dress inside jaws uh, pieces that are turning on the lathe etc. This will be the fine side here. Um, I suppose um, 
I can set it up to grind using this wheel as well. Um, primarily, I just wanted a, uh, a tool post grinder. So if I get two wheels out of it, fine. If I just get the one wheel plus the extension, that's uh, what we're after on off um, it runs at uh, approximately 3500 3400 rpm so uh, with this five inch wheel that's a great plenty of surface speed but uh, we we'll slow we'll slow it down when we get smaller wheels okay Centered this, punched it, a little center drill on there. Now we're going to uh, punch the hole. This is, I made this little bracket. Uh, to hold this switch. Once I snap it in there, it'll be locked in and hook the wires on. And setting this on the top of uh, the plate. So you'll see it when we put it together. Now let's get a hole in here. Done all this if I, I there was no plan for this to start so in order to uh, bring this thing to fruition I just kind of uh, plan it by ear as we go along um, the design is just uh, what we're going to do now is these bolts I'm going to offset I'm going to put a nut on the back of this that'll bring this out then I'll uh, this long this will be long enough to attach a bolt on it and a uh, a wire holder on the back okay Shorten that a little bit so it doesn't run into the motor housing. Now this one it's another self-locking nut. That's going to be the uh, the wire harness uh, for the power cord. Now as I said before I've had to uh, I'm building this as I'm going along. Now it fits on there fine. The only problem is the uh, I'm going to have to straighten this edge a little bit. I need a little bit of clearance over here for the uh, the wheel guard. The, I anticipate those wheel guards will change or come off anyway. But for right now, I'm going to take this uh, housing down, uh, flush it off a little bit, and. Uh, then uh, the mounting bracket should be pretty much complete other than the cosmetics. This will be the ground here. Nice. 
There's the power cord coming off underneath and away from the work. It worked out well. All right, we'll go put the uh, put it together now. Okay, we threaded the 832 in there. Now we'll need this ground. The three wire plug. Get this out of the way for a second here. Alright, let's see if we can get this started. Can't quite get a screwdriver on it square but since we previously started it bring it in an angle get the magic screwdriver here nothing like quality tools make the job easier actually it's the point the point of the screwdriver gives you a better chance to grip at an angle. There we are. And we have the ground. Now, put the other two power items in here. Now, before we button everything up, I think it's probably logical to. Uh, test this motor. Actually I think we'll go ahead and uh, put the base screws on there. Should make life easier. Let's see what's going on here and that. Okay, this is all seat of the pants stuff here. Now, there is going to be just a hair of play, which we might need in uh, truing this up. But we've got options um, for, uh, uh, well, one of them is we can true the wheel itself to the, to the lathe uh, by use the diamond points stuck in the uh, in the the jaw, but uh, you know this get us now. This is you know pot metal casing and so forth, so you don't want to over tighten that. Snug that up. All right. Now theoretically, I should be able to put this in the tool holder, push the switch, and uh, we'll have a grinder that uh, should work as a tool post grinder. All right, let's make sure All right, it's got pretty good torque on there, but let's make sure that we got uh, this baby turn in there. We'll plug it in. The power source. Make sure that it's doing what it's supposed to do. Okay, so far so good. It plugged in. It didn't start by itself. Now, let me put a little pressure on this. There it goes. Starts right up.
and it's turning the right direction. Now when I mount this in the tool post, it'll be throwing the, the uh, grindings to the uh, uh, towel or pad on the bottom that'll be on the lathe, on the ways. So, so, yeah, looks like we got ourselves the start of a tool post grinder. Outstanding. All right, let's mount it up and stick it in the lathe. Okay, now you can see that little scribe line on that, uh, that's my square. That's this, that's the height adjustment. Um, I just have a little chunk of pipe in there. Let's see, we'll take this off. Move this all the way out. Okay. Now, this is uh, centered on the center, approximately, you know, we're not fine tuning anything yet. We're just, this is the first time, stuck it on the lathe. I set the uh, compound rest backwards 30 so that I can go back and forth this way and uh, move the uh, grinding wheel across the surface of this. Um, I just have a chunk of black pipe in there which uh, I'm going to grind it uh, into a cutter. Uh, the inside diameter of the pipe will punch holes if I can sharpen it. So I've just this is just you know an experiment. We'll test this wheel. Um, I'm going to get a pad here to put underneath on the ways, catch the uh, the grindings, and uh, let's see. I don't know. Let me set this probably over here. Yeah. Okay, I'll put it over here and we'll, we'll fire this thing up and see what we got. Okay, let's fire this up and see what we got. I got the, the lathe turning uh, about 45. So we'll just uh, make sure it's right there. Put it in gear all the way back. Alright. Let's turn this on. So far so good. Now we'll move this in. Dress these wheels, nothing, you know. Another 20. We're just testing the concept at the moment. This should be alright. 20. Cheesy wheels, I think, but you know, it's what can I say? Forty dollars Harbor Freight Grinder. I'm taking twenty at a crack going in here. I don't know. Let me put just for the heck of it. Yeah. All 
right, now there's, that's interesting. Am I taking too much of a bite there? I actually stopped the wheel. Oh. But the concept is great. I get a good wheel. Okay, get my chunk. I'm definitely getting a 60 degree grind out here. Well, I just learned something, too. Actually, I'm supposed to make that first cut probably with the, with the lathe and then just use the, uh, the grinding wheel to polish it. I was cutting that whole thing, and now I'm thinking about it, and I'm going, well, that's not what the purpose of the tool post grinder is for. It's for the last, the polishing the end of it. Let's see what we, it looks like here. Not bad. The, uh, you can see down below here, most everything you see down there isn't grindings off of the piece of black pipe, it's pieces of the cheesy stone that comes with it, so. But that's, you know, like you said, it's, I just built a tool post grinder for under 50 bucks. There's the mounting brackets. It truly functions. Let's see once. Uh, I think I got a little 60 degree square here. Yep, yeah, a little 60 degree. And it, it looks pretty straight, straight on till morning there. That's pretty cool. All right, so now the big thing is, is I have to make a post, probably about five or six inches out here. I'll thread, uh, put a post that I can uh, put an arbor on the end of and go inside work for grinding. But this little grinder uh, should be fine. A, uh, a tool post grinder for my uh, lathe for under 50 bucks. I, I forgot to count the $9 for this, probably 60 bucks if you count the, uh, the tool post uh, holder itself, the tool holder itself. Turn it off. A 
very functional. Okay, here's an interesting thing. Now that I took it off of the, the lathe and uh, sitting here on a bench, um, it, the motor is quite warm. I suppose that's by me stopping it uh, with the work, but you know, it's still still turning and at RPM. That <laughs> it did it dressed that cheesy wheel pretty good though. I mean, it's pretty pretty square there. Um, but uh, no, what I was going to point out was is that I uh, I have a great a great finish on here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, now I, I understand what <clears throat> what I was supposed to be doing. I should have cut this first and then just polished with it. Um, it's, it's you know you shouldn't. I mean, little fifty dollar grinders for polishing, not for uh, production work. But um, in any event, I'm I'm pleased with what uh, transpired there. Uh, I do have a functional tool post grinder now, just for dressing tools. And the main thing I was going to do was, uh, Mr. Pete was talking about, I'm going to make a, um, a stepped uh, center post. Uh, and uh, each time you put it in, you need to dress it. So that's why I built the... the uh, little tool post grinder as a dressing tool. Um, I think it'll function well for that purpose and uh, they say you know those Dumont's and uh, so forth at six seven hundred dollars as much as I use them I mean this is a hobby this isn't a production shop this is uh, for research and, and uh, development. Okay, there you have it. Okay, I forgot to uh, show the uh, product from the bottom here. Those were the original mounts here. That plastic mount went into. That's the only two holes that are threaded uh, so now you see the configuration for the uh, went into the switch mine and you know a lot of the cons and there's the little um, relay uh, or starter whatever it is um, one of the things uh, in consideration of building the bracket and so forth, it was just um, so that I could utilize the existing wiring without, I didn't have to change anything other than just add some mounting facilities for this stuff. So that's why it turned out the way it did. Uh, function rather than form uh, the, the bracket built totally f so that it functions for the uh, for the product here let's give you an all angle look at it okay I'm gonna the other thing is now um, putting a uh, threading an arbor and putting it on here That'll be the next thing with a with an arbor end out here. Um, also, one of the nice features of this is um, I can put a four-inch cutting wheel on here. Uh, I got a couple little th product projects I make that uh, for like uh, um, Ford back door, Ford pickup truck back doors, where I have to cut off. Um, little pieces of uh, uh, 
3 ish rod. So a little cutoff wheel. I don't know if that's going to work out or not, but because of the you know the setup time, but it might might be useful for that. But as I say, I can put a I can mount a, a cutoff wheel on here, a small legitimate grinding wheel, um, even a, you know something a diamond or whatever, so that uh, um, I take the very light cuts. Uh, required and then um, for dressing and that won't overheat the motor any for those type of cuts it just it'll just be pretty much free spinning with a nice wheel on there and just a touch up so I'm really pleased with the product here one of the things I'm just considering I was turning this at uh, 45 rpm in the same direction as the uh, wheel was going. Now, logically, um, I could have turned this, I could could have had this going in the opposite direction, you know, at 500 RPMs, and it probably, I don't know for sure, but you put less load on that wheel, uh, less touch, I would have had to make less touch, and, and uh, obviously it would have, um, uh, remove metal faster. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's put this thing back on. Grinder back on the tool post. Simple as that. Right. Yeah, let's uh, just take it in. That's it.
Let's turn that up to 500. That was a 255. Turn this up to 500. Now let's just, just see what we got. Good, the motor's staying, staying cooler. And the, uh, well, the finish looks pretty good. I think the whole key is to get a decent grinding wheel. And uh, we'll see some, some improvement. In all areas. Yeah, let's see, we'll just cruise in on that a little bit. Check this out. Pretty cool. Okay.